If you have recently lost a friend to gun violence, I extend my sympathy and condolences to you because I know this is a tragic loss and I know the trauma and pain you're experiencing is really deep. But I also want to remind you that it's okay to cry, especially if you're a young man. I know a lot of the young men that I see feel that they don't want to cry, it's not manly, but it's an emotion that you're experiencing right now. You're experiencing pain, the loss of a, of a friend that you've had since you were little, and it's okay to cry. You don't have to do it in front of anybody else. You can go in your shower, you can let the water run, and you can cry there. It's releasing some of that pent up emotions that you have that would stay in your body. And those emotions, if they're not expressed properly, can come out as anger, can come out as frustrations, and it can come out in an area where you least expect it to come out and embarrass you. So find an outlet. Maybe you can rap, maybe you can write a poem, maybe you can create something for your homie, if that's what you call him, or your friend. Just create something. Journaling is also something that is really good. But I know a lot of, of the youth that I work with, they like to listen to music. So find the right song. Maybe there's just one song that would really resonate with you. Find that song. Even if you have to play it again and again and again, do that. But find some way to release some of the emotions that you're, the emotions that you're experiencing. And please, don't forget to cry. It's okay. <laughs>